pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning! It's Tuesday, November 6, 2012. I'm Sammy. And I'm Brady. It's election day and we have your mock election information. The bulletin is on. in the commons. Weight room is open starting at 2.30 p.m. Fitness center is open starting at 2.15 p.m. Girls bowling is at North Mason starting at 2.45 p.m. Cross country banquet in the commons at 5.30 p.m. And multicultural meeting in the commons after school. Wednesday, November 7th, Veterans Day assembly at 7.30 a.m. Boys preseason swimming meet and meeting. Basketball open gym at 6.30 p.m. Thursday, November 8th, girls swimming state meet all day. Drama club is meeting at 2.30 in room 104. Tennis banquet at 2 p.m. Weight room is open starting at 2.30 p.m. Fitness center is at 2.15 p.m. Girls bowling with Olympic at 2.45 p.m. And volleyball banquet in the commons at 6 p.m. Friday, November 9th, girls swimming state meet all day. Blood drive to benefit American Red Cross. Football playoff game against Archbishop Murphy at Silverdale Stadium starting at 7 p.m. Be there, be square. Saturday, November 10th, girls swimming state. Oh, and this Friday, it'll be a blue out. Key clubbers, we're ordering shirts this week. Be sure to show up at Thursday's meeting to put your order in. Want to save a life? Donate blood this Friday. FCCLA sponsored blood drive. You must be 16 year old, years old and weigh at least 110 pounds to donate with your parents' consent. If you are interested in signing up, contact Ms. Hewitson, Ms. Keithley, or any FCCLA member. If you signed up during conferences, please stop by room 108 and confirm. Birthdays! Madeline Alexander. Scott Fleck. Jennifer Knight. Allison Kroon. Anthony Morgan. And Bradley Morgan. And Eric Torres. Happy birthday, you guys! Yeah. We are going to hold off on scholarship information so that we may bring you the information about our mock election. Have a great day. Yeah. Hello, I am White Sunkel from first period Mr. Domain News class. Um, I'm here to talk to you about Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney, our Republican candidate, is our best option. Uh, he has more experience than Obama as uh, a business owner and in the executive branch. He was governor of Massachusetts and CEO of Bain Capital. Uh, as CEO, and well, he also co-founded Bain Capital. Uh, and as CEO, he took from the red to the black, meaning that he started gaining profit after investing for companies such as Domino's and uh, other companies that are, you may know. Uh, as governor of Massachusetts, he took uh, he lowered the taxes and decreased government spending, and took Massachusetts out of debt. And on the, uh, on the tax note, he wants to decrease taxes for the middle class. Reason why? They're the majority of the population. Why should you be taxed more than other people? Uh, he wants to uh, decrease regulations for small business because he used to own a small business. And he knows that it is not, uh, it is not a good option to regulate these companies so they can actually grow and create more jobs. Uh, he also wants to focus on gun rights uh, because of uh, civil protection. Uh, if there's a problem on the streets, you need to be able to protect yourself. You can't always rely on the cops. Uh, he also wants to repeal Obamacare uh, because it's on a federal level and he thinks it should be on a state level. 
if it's on a state level, they can form policies that match the people uh, on a more specific level. And it, they can also do it for regional purposes. Like if you're in the city, uh, they'll have uh, health care based on, on the city. If you're in the country, they'll have health care based on the country. Also, he wants to, he, he he's also supports Israeli defense. Hi, Bremerton High School students. My name is Lamont James, and I'm from Mr. Dominion's first period civics class. And I'm here to tell you why you should vote for President Obama as your next president. When he first ran, he promised that he would create more jobs. And so far, he's built on 5 million different jobs within the last 30 months. He also said he wanted to build manufacturing jobs, which is great, so he can, un so he can decrease the unemployment rate in America. So R Mitt Romney said that he um, supports coal industries, but he said, but when he was in front of a coal mine saying that this kills people and ended up shutting it down. Now, if he lies about that, what else will he lie about? And can we really afford him to be the U.S. president? Um, Mitt Romney also said that um, oil, the oil industries will run the energy, will run the energy policies and write the energy policies, and which is not right. He has the energy, the oil and gas part down, but the energy part he does not. What sense does it make for the oil and gas companies to write the energy policies, which will put them out of business? Um, Obama said that he has doubled the fuel efficiency in cars so that any cars you buy within the next decade will go twice as far as on a gallon of gas, which in my opinion is more great for the company economy. Thank you. Have a nice day.